So Kaden, are you gonna do some yoga with me? <clears throat> yeah. So what have you got there? I'm working like this. You're doing push-ups? Yeah. But how come you have your blankie there? For well, friggin' doing like mummy. Oh. So is that your yoga mat? Yeah. You're awesome. <laughs> These vlogs are highlighting to me just how much weight I still have to lose from the baby. So we're gonna do some yoga. Here we go. So we just got four cats, Caden's art studio. He has his art classes, so we're gonna go in and check out and see what he's doing today. Here it is, four cats. The best, most fun art studio ever. I bought a different dress than this one as well. And then I think they're doing self-portraits in there. So now he's using a mirror and looking at himself. I thought I was pretty lucky to actually spend it with my mom. It's hilarious. And my sister. And so cute. So I'm going to the drugstore now to see if I can find some barrier cream. I have no idea if it's going to be something that's even viable, but I still have yellow paint Hi. under my nails. Hi. Okay, so I think I think I got the right stuff. Uh, it's called barrier cream. So I don't know if this is the right stuff, but I figure if it isn't, it'll work just as well on Tegan's butt. But just from yesterday, I don't know if you can see how much I still have under my nails and fingers were certainly stained from the red so hopefully this will help I guess we'll see So I was kind of skeptical, but I have to say, I used this Well Skin Barrier Cream. Um, I figured if it didn't work, I could just use it on Tigger's bum. But it was great, and I started just, like the paint was just rubbing off it's super easy. I was really surprised, so I'll definitely use this again. So get it. So usually when Caden plays outside, he's really good about checking in all the time. And I hadn't heard from him in a little while. So I've come outside to check on him, and this is what I found. Passed out in the garage. How flippin' adorable is that? Okay, so my last entry for tonight, Flora wanted us to answer some questions today um, in regards to, you know, who we are as an artist. And one of the questions is, do you perceive yourself as an artist? And this is a really hard one for me because I don't, I want to, I've always wanted to, but I don't, I can't, I call myself an artist, you know? Um, 
my neighbor was joking with me and goes, wow, you're a professional artist now because I've sold some paintings, but I don't, I don't know. I look at like my friends like Susie and, and Leanne and, you know, good friends that I have that are artists and that I look at and go, wow, you know, and I can't even draw a straight line. So am I an artist? And I guess that's what I'm trying to get out of this course is to find a way for me to say that I actually am an artist, if I can say that. And I don't know, it's a hard question for me. You know, my life has always been, you know, I've always done different kinds of art and I, I see myself as a makeup artist, I'm a makeup artist. And I guess that makes me an artist. But I kind of feel like it's not the same, even though I guess some artists would look at makeup artistry and go, wow, I can't do that. Um, so I don't know, I guess that's gonna be my biggest struggle throughout this course is, am I an artist? Do I perceive myself as an artist? And, you know, how do I get myself to believing that? So I guess that's probably my biggest hurdle to this whole thing. So hopefully as we go, I'll uh, be a little more established. So, excuse the noise, but little boy is watching Yo Gabba Gabba beside me. Right, babe? Hey, are you gonna say the night? Hey. Are you gonna say night? You're a goober. So that's it for today. Good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.